Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWalk.com and welcome to our review of the LG ND5630. Now, I don't know why they like naming devices this way, but this is the ND5630. This is a wireless speaker dock. This is a desktop dock, and this actually supports both the iPhone, iPhone 5, and also supports your Android devices. So it's got this nice oval shape here, and you can see it has the NFC sign for NFC, NFC compatibility. And I have not gotten it to work. The most I've gotten it to do is on, um, a Lumia device was to tap it and it gave me instructions to download the remote app. Um, this top layer here in front is actually your display. So if we actually hit the power button, you can see it shows you the display for iPod, Android, Bluetooth, and so forth. So we try that, try that again. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, just to give you a nice idea. So this is all that there. Now on the right hand, the speaker grill is in front. It's a 30 watt speaker and uh, the speaker grill is in front. On the uh, right hand side here, you do have your manual controls. You have a power button, your function button to switch between Android, AirPlay, Wi-Fi and all that stuff and then your volume controls. At the back of the device, as you can see, it uses a power brick. At the back of the device, you have your uh, other controls here so you can have you have a lightning port you have usb charging for your ipad your dcn your sound sync your air airplay direct and wi-fi settings so wi-fi for airplay and of course your subwoofer vents vents now here is where the cool part is you push this back this shows you sorry here at the back let me just spin this around this is what houses your dock. So you have a dock on your left hand side or my left here that supports your lightning uh, adapter. So for your new iPods as well as iPhone 5. And then here you have your micro USB. So for your um, Galaxy S4s, all your Android devices, and you can actually push and turn it around in different ways so it actually will fit your, uh, your device. So you can actually set it the right way for your device. And it's quite easy and simply easy to use. So I can dock this there and boom, it also will charge your device. Now you get, of course, direct play from your iPhone while plugged in. And it's very simple and it's very easy. Now I mentioned NFC again, that just didn't work too well for this device. So to give you some um, sound, um, sound feedback or sound play, what you would need, you don't need this, what actually gives you full control is actually the Bluetooth uh, control here. So it's a Bluetooth control app and it says there's no device connected because I have this off. So I'm going to turn this back on again and um, we should be, we should have connection options. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so it says AirPlay on there. Let's try and pair. Okay, so it's pairing with our device. So we're paired, connected to media, and um, we can go into mobile. And you see we have a track there lined up. Uh, a couple things on this app. You can actually um, go through your track list, whatever's on your device. Um, of course, you go through either albums and all that fun stuff. Or again, you can do repeats. You can do sound effects, play, pause. You can you can, you can actually use a tuner if you have headphones connected, um, the main option, clock and settings. So let's go into mobile and let's play and you guys give a quick listen.
Now in terms of sound, it does a very good job at filling the room and it just packs a lot of sound. This is uh, one of the devices that, you know, if you lived in a small apartment or a one bedroom studio, this would work out great. Uh, friends can listen to songs, you can have a good time. Also, even in the dorm room, cool thing is you can charge either your iPhone. If you had an iPhone, I have an iPhone 5, or you also have, say, an Android device, or you switch, whatever the case, you can charge your devices and play your music at the same time. Now, it retails for 219 It's a little bit on the pricier side, but this is also an AirPlay device, so that's also something that's pretty cool uh, and works out very well um, for that. So I just wanted to give you guys a sound sample more or less than anything else, and I really like it. It's really done well just sitting out here in the Border Work office, and um, we can connect to multiple Bluetooth devices to this and just play and listen to music. So that's something that's pretty cool, pretty nice, and you've got so many connection options, AirPlay, Bluetooth, um, you know, using a 3.5 mm jack and so on and so forth. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the LG ND5630 wireless speaker dual dock, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.